Hey guys, it's Justin. Thanks for asking your questions on joincfe.com slash knock. I'm here to answer them as quickly as possible. You ask your question there, upvote it. We'll be able to answer them right after that. Um, so now, uh, the question from Sanmuka Varma. Sorry if I pronounced your name wrong, but um, your question was how to navigate a bunch of, navigate and download a bunch of PDF files from a website which has a login page using Python and request module. Now, as soon as you introduce authentication, it gets a lot more challenging to actually surpass that authentication and then do some web scraping. It's a lot more difficult because you have to authenticate to actually access those pages, as you probably already know, and then to be able to download it. So the Python request module itself has ways to do authentication if the website allows for it. If the website doesn't allow for it using something like basic authentication, then you are gonna to have to go another route to do that and it's probably gonna be using some sort of JavaScript. I remember seeing something along the lines of this on a Stack Overflow post, so you might wanna search there to get actual tactics on how to do it. Um, but as far as an overarching, like how would you do it, you have to overcome that authentication thing first and then once you get there and you can actually get the data, then you'll be able to use scraping beyond that. Now if that's not your question, your question might be about an API. Now a lot of sites or like Facebook have an API that users can actually authenticate with you to use their data on Facebook. Um, that is using their API. But of course it requires that you register with Facebook that you're gonna be doing those sorts of things and then you need permissions from their users to do those sorts of things as well. And Facebook also limits the amount of stuff. But if you're asking how do you circumvent that if they don't have an API, how do you go beyond that? That gets a little little hazy and it's also not exactly legal as far as I know um, to be able to surpass a lot of the, their terms of agreement and stuff like that. So that is something that you might want to um, you know, think about when you're going through these sort of things. So really good question, very interesting. Um, but as far as web scraping is concerned, um, there's a lot of like gray area as to what you can and cannot do. At least that's my understanding. And of course I'm not an attorney, but that's what I know to be true at least at this point. Uh, thanks for the question, um, and we'll see you guys in the next one.